vintage snowmobilers. <laughs> Ever seen anything like this before? This is a 1967 Eaton's Snow Track. Now, who in the world is Eaton's and what, what manufacturer were they? Well, as it turns out, they were not a manufacturer. They uh, uh, private labeled Polaris product. And at that time, in 1967, Polaris was actually assembling snowmobiles in a plant in Manitoba. Beaujolais, Manitoba, you may have heard of. And the reason why was tariffs. But Polaris opened up this satellite plant up there in Manitoba simply to avoid tax. And uh, at the same time, they uh, commissioned some private labels. And this is one of them. Uh, Eaton's company was a very large department store in Canada. Uh, think Sears in America. They had a big catalog. Everybody waited for that catalog to come and uh, shop for Christmas and etc. etc. So, as it turns out, in 1967, Eaton's approached Polaris saying, We want you to build a snowmobile for us. And we got to make it look different than yours. So, this is the end result. This machine is what we call a catalog snowmobile. That is to say, it was not sold at any store or any dealer. This was sold by mail order only. Now, the T. Eaton Company up in Canada had a large following. Everybody got their, their, uh, their catalogs, and uh, including some very remote communities. You know, this, this is sort of like uh, herders in, in America. Herders, you know, sold mail order sleds to places where they didn't have dealerships. Well, this thing fit into that, into that category. This is a catalog sled. And uh, so what they did was they cobbled together a machine using some 1966 Polaris parts that were left over and some 1967 and created this unique, unique style. All right. Of all things, look at this truncated hood and this cover over the engine. My God, I don't know what they were thinking, but that's what it turned into. Now, I always wanted one of these. I had uh, 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 seen uh, one of these on the internet. Pierre Pelleron, who produced the three volume encyclopedia, is in Quebec. And he sourced one just like this out of Saskatchewan. So I went on a hunt. I went to Saskatchewan and said, does anybody know where one of these are? And uh, I got a hit. There was a person, an old farmer in, in Saskatchewan, who had one of these. He drove me in his pickup truck, I'll never forget the day, to an old abandoned farmstead. And here it was laying in the weeds. You know, we literally had to tramp down the grass to, to, to look at it. And uh, I offered to buy it. You know, it wasn't very special. It had been outside too long, but I offered to buy it. You know what? He said no. Because he, was, he, he, knew, he knew that I was going to import that into, into America here into the United States, and he wouldn't have for that. Don't be stealing our snowmobiles, was his line. Well, the hunt continued. Uh, this baby came out of a town called Sudbury, Ontario. Sudbury, Ontario is in the Precambrian Shield area of the province. It is a very big nickel mining town. And I don't know how I found it, I can't even remember, but uh, I, uh, I, I brought it home and, uh, and, it, and it was restored. So uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at some of the features. Come on in. And uh, I guess let's talk about this, this hood affair. Uh, as I said, very, very abbreviated. Um, and, uh, and then they, they built this cover over the, uh, over the hood. Now, here is an, uh, a 300cc hearth engine. And, uh, you know, it was parts that were left over from, from the previous year. Now, this handlebar assembly, for those of you who know Polaris, will recognize as 66. This gas tank, 1966. The rest of this chassis appears to be largely 1967 Polaris Colt. So, uh, so that's what they did. They were using up some spare parts, and, uh, and in fact, Eaton's continued. The following year, in 1968, they, uh, they marketed one called Viking. <clears throat> same, same, same basic chassis. It, it had a different hood. It had a different hood. So let's, uh, let's take a look at it. Uh, fully restored. Um, 
This has got the traditional cleated uh, center drive uh, track. So again, think Polaris, think Polaris. And uh, here is our here is our tag. Look at this. <laughs> this is a Model 130, and it says manufactured by Polaris Industries uh, for T Eaton Limited. And uh, I especially liked like the the uh, the hood decal. I uh, I I took a photo off the internet and worked with a person, and uh, we got we got the the decal to. Uh, to, uh, to, to, to come out. And uh, here you can see, this is 1967 Polaris architecture here. So, uh, so, uh, so uh, this, is, this is a most unique machine. Now, it has just returned from, uh, from uh, the uh, Nobin Way Museum, the top of the Lake Museum, where it resided for more than 10 years on, on display. So it's just so fun to, to bring it home and, and get it a little little exercise, get it out in the uh, in the sunshine. And uh, like I said, you'll you'll be hard pressed to find another Eaton's snow track. Thanks for listening.